Hey, what's going on, champs? <laughs> um, real quick, my name is Daniel Chazibani, and I'm gonna be talking to you about the third eye. I'm not gonna keep you long in this video, so disclaimer: it works. I am not an expert. I am a living testimony of if you follow the instructions, if you do your research and you practice this day in and day out, it works 100%. So now here's the thing. Don't do this if you're not ready and prepared for the truth because you're going to feel some things. You're going to experience situations whereby you are placed in it for you to learn something from it. It ties in with being aware, right? If you are self-aware, bro, your level of consciousness is on a whole different level. To give you a background, I started my journey with the third eye back in 2014. So I'm also or perhaps I was also one of those kids who was so into materialistic things. Things like the car, the mansion. I still do want those and I'm still going to get them. It's still in the process of the law of attraction. So I'm part of those. I'm part of that group. And in 2014, I had a list, right? A wish list. I started with the law of attraction before I started with the third eye opening, right? And um, I've, I've managed to accomplish most of the things that were on those lists. For example, being on TV, passing my matric, my matric with a bachelor's degree, um, meeting celebrities that I've always wanted to meet, uh, seeing a Ford Mustang in South Africa, because that's my dream car. Most of those stuff, they came through. And so... When I started the journey of the third eye, here's where it got scary. It got scary when I started realizing that there's got to be more than just buying or living in a mansion, driving the dream car, the Mustang. So the thing that is more should be or it can be the things that you are doing in between. Like, while you are living in the mansion, what are you doing with your life? Right, I started asking myself deeper questions. So, questions like, what's bigger than being on TV? What's bigger than um, going to varsity and graduate? Like, I had never had somebody who gave me this guidance, who gave me this information. I've never had... I had to program my own mind. I had to unlearn most of the stuff that I've been taught, that I've been programmed, right? I had to do that by myself. I had to stop watching the news. I had to stop watching soapies back to back. Also, another thing that I realized was, man, I asked myself the question, why am I watching four or five episodes of different soapies in one night? And it's not beneficial to my dreams. It's not adding anything to how I want to live one day. And so I started cutting off episodes. I started cu cutting off like seasons and stuff of series that I've been watching. To the point where I'm at right now. Where I'm at right now is like. I need to think of something. This is This is the process of me being on a different level of the third eye, right? Spiritual awakening. I'm at the point where I'm asking myself questions like, okay, if this is what you're going to do, will you be able to maintain it? And for how long will you be able to maintain it? And what's the responsibility that comes with this that you want to do? Do you have the capacity to withhold or persevere for the longest of time 
end, how would you like people to feel when you are doing this? Because you're not doing it for yourself. You're doing it for a greater cause. You start realizing that when you do something for yourself, it's, it's amazing. But once you start doing it for something bigger than yourself, that's when it gets like real. That's when you start thinking about the next person. That's when you start thinking about your neighbor, the person living in your household, how it's going to affect them, you know. And um, let, me just, let me just add something here, right? So when I meditate, I use the method of meditating. So when I meditate, I, I, I sit down, I have my position ready, right? And this is what's been happening in the process of me opening my third eye. Um, when I'm still, I try to think of nothing. Now, that's the toughest and the hardest part ever when it comes to meditation. When you're trying to think of nothing, your mind automatically thinks of something. It just throws images in your head like that. And so what I would do is I would sit and be still, trying to think of nothing which is the most impossible thing. I've said that. And here's what happens when I focus all of my energy into the middle of my forehead. My body starts moving around and vibrating by itself, right? It starts turning around, starts, I just started out of itself. And what happens after that, while my eyes is closed, I start seeing purple dots, purple dots. And then after seeing the purple dots, it's dark, my eyes are closed. I start seeing laser beams, right? Stripes, graphic, it's very graphical. It's almost like I'm in a trance. <laughs> um, I started realizing that back in 2014 when I started opening it for the first time. And so now I'm on a different level of opening. Those are the things that you're gonna experience when you are busy practicing opening <laughs> your third eye, right? So I just wanted to put that out there so that you know once you, when you start experiencing like tension, when you start feeling tension in, in the forehead, bro, that's when you know like you're, you're on the right path. But do your research. Find out how does it work, for what purpose can you use it, and why you want to open it. You know, because once it's open, bro, you start feeling what other people feel. You start seeing things. You start, you you just being in positions and places where you never thought you would be, right? You would attract the most amazing things and people in your life. Again, your circle will be smaller. You will start to see things before they happen. And it's going to be scary. Your dreams are going to be vivid and you're going to remember them. Now, here's the thing. The trick is for you to write down your dreams when you dream anything. Um, most people do not write it down, right? But pff, I urge you to write it down because I'm telling you, these dreams are the answers that you are looking for while you are wide awake. And when you are awake and you've had a couple of dreams and you have you didn't pay attention to those dreams. You never really meditated on those dreams. Tell you what, you will start to experience something like a deja vu. I think they call it a deja vu. <laughs> Opening your third eye, something else, bro. And I just wanted to share this with you guys. Um, this is probably the first video that I've ever shared that is on my content, that I, the content that I've, that I've been doing. I have waited until this point to make this video because I first wanted to see if it works and it works it works 100% like imagine bro imagine making videos and the information just comes out like <laughs> imagine talking to somebody when there's no one you are talking to, but the person that's going to receive your message 
is somebody that is of a stranger or somebody that you know very well, but you never in your head, never in your mind imagined that it could have been this person. Man, this thing is, anyways, let, I'm just gonna cut this video off, come to the end of this video. If you need more, if you need me to make more of these videos, cause I have a lot of information and how to's, like leave a comment or press the like button. You don't ever leave, you don't have to leave a comment, press the like button. If you appreciate this video and if you would like me to make more videos of this i promise you i am well researched i'm sorry i am i have a lot of knowledge on this which kind of begs the question well, i don't know why i haven't made a lot of videos on this but now you know so always sustain your struggles with confidence and discipline and never give up on your dreams because sometimes it might not look like that you are living the dream, but once you have opened your third eye, my brothers and sisters, you are living the dream. You will start seeing the things that you've never seen before. You will start hearing things that you've never heard before. <laughs> Only the chosen ones will get it. <laughs> I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching, my friend.